Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning into Carrot Spice. Before I actually start this video, I want to give a shout out to my kiddos for getting me this lip color. It's matte, which is my preferred choice for fall and winter. And it's in purple. That is definitely, if not, my favorite color. And so I have the lips going on, the eyes, the head wrap. I've always been into wraps, especially um, in the Caribbean, when I lived back in the Caribbean. And the natural hair is a little bit frizzy, but that's not what the video is about. I just wanted to shout out. I'm so happy. I love when people pay attention to detail, but they did well. Um, this video is about bodybuilding, okay? I throw around the word bodybuilding a lot. I tell people I'm a female bodybuilder, well, aspiring female bodybuilder. And they'll always look at me with this look like, why are you doing that? Or why would you try to do that? You're gonna get too big, too bulky. Or they would actually give me that look of, but you're not huge as a guy, so how can, we, how can you be a bodybuilder? We're all familiar with bodybuilding for the most part. Okay, where you see the huge guys on stage, they have a lot of muscle mass, we're looking at their symmetry. And in my opinion, male bodybuilding is the easiest of the categories to judge. Okay, um, bodybuilding has been around since what? Well, formerly the 1930s. I believe the first Mr. America was in 1939. I don't know where, but I know it was 1939. And, um, you know, so we're familiar with that, you know, male bodybuilding. Then there's female bodybuilding and the different categories. We also have different categories of male bodybuilding as well, like physique, okay, and then actual bodybuilding. So for the women, for female bodybuilders, um, that has always been the one that has been very unclear to me because I'm really not sure what the judges are really looking for. Um, at what point do you draw that line between how masculine or how massive a woman should get for competing as opposed to her retaining um, her feminine, feminine um, qualities, her feminine attributes? Because we know once they get on the steroids and whatever, uh, things start to change. Okay, so that category has always been a little bit unclear and frankly in my opinion It's the least desirable out of all of the categories um, And to each his own uh, There still has to be a work ethic to attain that sort of physique um, People don't just take drugs and get big. You still have to work out. So with regards to their work ethic I do respect female the female bodybuilding category so what I'm trying to do, well, what I tried to do in this video is to explain to you um, the different categories of female bodybuilding by showing you some pictures. These pictures were pulled from the internet. So if you see a picture or you know of someone, please don't get me in trouble. Okay, I'm not trying to bash anyone. I just decided to pull some pictures, uh, pictures that I thought would do justice to what I'm trying to explain. And that is all that is about. Um... I also included a couple of my favorite athletes from each category, or I tried to, I can't remember, but that is the point of that, okay, to just show you, give you a visual with what I'm trying to explain to you. So with all of that said, I do appreciate you looking. Um, if you're coming across my videos for the very first time, please take the time to check out the rest of my channel. And if you are a faithful subscriber, thank you so much for being faithful. Um, hit the like button. Let me know that you like this content. Um, leave me a comment. Don't be afraid to get a little bit controversial. That always spice things up on Carrot Spice. <laughs> and um, if you do not want to subscribe, that is okay. But I still do appreciate you watching. I will see you guys in the next vid. And I hope you enjoy what I'm about to show you. Alright guys, as I said, I do respect the work ethic of female, the female bodybuilders in that category. But only when it stays drug free. That is just my um, up stance on that. Um, understand that women simply cannot get this big without the use of drugs. So don't think you're going to lift weights and turn to this. This is because of the use of drugs. Um, professional women's bodybuilding, in my opinion, is just not the same as it used to be. Um, it's so competitive now, even though it's been phased out that a lot of these women are turning um, to drug use just to make it. All 
right, then we have the physique competitors. The criteria include symmetry, shape, proportion, muscle tone, poise, and beauty flow. Um, they say that physique is not really bodybuilding, but in my opinion, there is um, some kind of similarity, especially with the broad shoulders, etc. Um, physique is probably phasing out, pushing out the bodybuilding phase. So kind of think of it like a toned down version of female bodybuilding. Then there is fitness. Um, fitness is very lean and muscular. However, the judges don't want that muscle bulk and extreme definition. Uh, there is a routine that you do have to perform in this category, so that makes it a very fun category as well. And they really do test how athletic these girls are. This would have been my second choice, actually. Then there is the, cat the category of figure, which is my category of interest. They're looking for a small degree of muscularity with separation, but no visible striations. Overall muscle tone with round, firm muscle bellies. And just um, a very good looking package with elegance and nice skin tone. And it's fun, there is no routine to perform, and it's just elegant. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about figure as I'm preparing for stage as well. Then there's a final category of bikini, um, where these girls look a little bit more curvy, 100% um, feminine. They get to wear a two-piece bikini, but no thongs. And they get to do this model walk on stage to see who rocks the bikini better than any of the other girls on stage. It's, there's a lot of fun to it, you get to put your own spunk to it, and it's a fun category, also very popular with women. So that's everything in a nutshell guys, I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned to my bigger contest prep. Bye!